Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be going over the druid-specific helmet known as Vasily's Prayer. I found two of these so far. Uh, Vasily's Prayer is a helmet that is specifically for werebears. Uh, it's a werebear, it's a werebear, a werebear, a werebear. Why is it specifically for werebears? Well, it turns all of your earth skills into werebear skills, but we'll get there. Um, so, first off, this is a sacred unique item, and it can be found in ancestral form. Uh, to find this item, you're going to have to be in world tier 3 or higher. It will not drop in world tier 2 or 1. So, complete your campaign and get to world tier 3 as quickly as you can. Um, if you're looking for this item, that is. Now, the item has uh, bonus damage while shapeshifted, so it, got, it has a very nice uh, up to 10% bonus. Now, this does go up considerably as the item level goes up. This is only a 657 item level, and item level goes up as high as 820 um, from drops. And then, of course, you can upgrade it five times, so you can get 825 as the maximum at, at the current moment. Um, there are some little weird ways that you can get higher than that, but it has to do with purchasing items from the shop. So, that's interesting. Um, this particular helmet um, is at 7%, which is a mid-link roll. Uh, we also have overpower damage, uh, which could come in handy if you're using pulverize. I believe that's the overpower skill of the, the bear. Um, and it uh, rolls between 15 and 30%. Uh, we also have a maximum life roll on here, which is nice. Uh, it goes as high as 303, so 143 to 303. Um, and that's going to go up, of course, as you upgrade it. Um, and then we have lightning resistance, which unfortunately at this particular point is useless, um, which rolls between 19.5 to 34.5%. Now, I will point out that uh, the developers in the latest Campfire Talk have been uh, basically discussing the fact that resistances are less useful than they probably should be, and um, are basically going to make it so that, you know, resistances are more useful in the future. But that's not going to come until Season 2, so by then, I guess we'll find this out. Maybe one of you guys watching in Season 2, hello Season 2ers, uh, can tell me uh, on this video, comment on this video, and tell me what, how they changed it and whether they did a good job. Um, now, the unique effect of this is your Earth skills are now also Werebear skills, and they fortify you for a small amount of HP. It's a 6, uh, 4 to 8, so it can go up as high as 8. It actually does roll a lot higher than this on, like, on like an 820 version. But, but when I say a lot higher, I mean, like, instead of 6, it's, like, 20. Like, it's... Like, it is a lot higher, yeah, but it's still basically nothing, which is weird. I don't know why it's such a low amount of Fortify. It seems like a, an, a weird add-on to be, like, such a low number that it's almost, like, not even there. I don't, I don't really know. Um, now, what would you specifically use this for? I mean, it seems very obvious, right? Your Earth skills now become Werebear skills. So, there's a lot of Earth skills within the tree. In fact, if you go up here to the keyword search and you just put... Uh, earth in the list which is right there um earth is going to highlight all the earth skills so obviously um earthen bulwark is now a earth skill um you've also got landslide uh earth spike is now an earth skill um and then on top of that we've also got molten boulder um is a werebear skill so all these are earth skills and all these become werebear skills um when you have this ability petrify becomes a werebear skill um, now, this is important because, well, for a couple reasons. Um, if a Earth skill is now considered to be a Werebear skill, then that means that the Werebear skills or the Werebear effects will affect the Earth skills as well. So if you have things like, uh, while in Werebear form, you hear a, a heal additional, um, there's a couple different Werebear only items. Um, or like passives and things like that. You shouldn't technically be detransforming. Like if you're using the damage reduction while in werebear form, you should still maintain that um, even if you're using an earth skill. But the real benefit of this particular ability is actually something quite strange. So when you're utilizing um, the Grizzly Rage ability, um, the Grizzly Rage ability only allows you to use abilities that are considered werebear abilities. Um, so the importance here is, uh, and let me just go ahead and remove a point from rabies real quick so I can do a spend in there. Um, so when you use your unstoppable rage, um, what you're going to find out is that the unstoppable rage ability has a, its own specific abilities on the bar. So if you don't have any werebear abilities, if you don't have any werebear abilities at all, you can't really use any abilities within the werebear tree. 
So like, for instance, if I go out here right now, and I go ahead and toggle the Unstoppable Rage, you notice that there's not really a whole lot on this bar. Um, and I can put the Earthen Bulwark skill down there, um, but it's really just a matter of, like, I'm not able to utilize the skills that I want. One of the main uses, <clears throat> from what I understand, of this ability is the ability to use Earth Spike as a builder while in the werebear form. So, if you are a werebear, um, which I'm not a werebear, I'm using the Mad Wolf's Glee, so I have the the wrong abilities entirely to show this off. Um, but when you're in your werebear form, instead of using Maul as your builder, which is one of the things that I think some people don't like to do with their werebear form, um, you can, in fact, use Earth Spike as a werebear instead. And it will not detransform you and turn you back into a human because it's considered a werebear ability. Um, this also means that when you utilize things like your Grizzly Rage form, you should also have access to whatever your builder is. I'm dying. Um, and it basically just makes it so you don't have to detransform all the time. Um, you can utilize Earth abilities in your Werebear build without having to worry about detransforming out of the Werebear form, which is definitely very nice. Um, and there's a ton of different abilities that you could potentially use, but none more potent than the difference between Maul and Earth Spike. So why, why would you use Earth Spike over Maul? Well, the answer is because Earth Spike is a ranged ability. I think this is the most important thing here, is that you don't have to be within melee range to utilize Earth Spike, so it turns your Bear into something that is more uh, akin to like a ranged character, which is rather interesting. So let me go ahead and put Vasily's Prayer on, because I didn't actually have it on the entire time here. Um, and then let's transform back into our rage form. And now, as you can see, I have Earth Spike as a builder while in the Grizzly Rage form. Um, anything that is considered an Earth skill, like like Earth Spike, should technically be able to go there. Um, and and that's really what this helmet is for. It's not really for the effects on the helmet, although the effects are decent. Uh, especially if you're using Pulverize, you get that nice overpower damage, and life is certainly not bad with a little bit of damage. But the real benefit of Vasily's Prayer is literally the fact that it allows you to utilize your Earth Spike instead of your Maul as a Werebear, um, which gives you a ranged builder instead of a melee builder, and that's one of the main things that people are using Vasily's Prayer for right now. Uh, there's, of course, other uses as well. Like I said, every Earth skill now becomes a... Um, a werebear skill, so you could even use things like boulder. You can use things like uh, earthen bulwark without detransforming. And of course, um, not detransforming is also important because if you're getting, you know, like this 9% damage reduction here from the iron fur while in werebear form or other passive effects that you may have, um, it's nice not to detransform while you're utilizing those abilities. Um, and, uh, and so it's got multiple uses, but I think the real main use of it is to allow you to utilize earth skills while you're in your grizzly rage form. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many Earth skills you can utilize when you're within your Grizzly form, Rage form, but obviously you can see that you can use Earth Spike as long as it is, in fact, on your bar. Um, I mean, I could go through and just, like, pop one point into each one of these and throw these all on the bar, and then we could transform into Grizzly Rage form, um, and we could take a look and see, like, you know, like, can we utilize any of these, if not all of them, while inside that form. So let me just go ahead and pop all these down here and completely ruin my hotbar. <laughs> just completely ruin my hotbar. Um, let's make sure we have Vasily's Prayer on. All right. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to see how many of them stay on the bar as a, as a test. Because why not? Um, so let's transform into our Grizzly Rage, which we also need to put back on the bar because I'm an idiot who took it off. Uh, let's put it right there. Um, and as you can see, the Earthen Bulwark, the Landslide, and the Boulder are all now on my bar while in the Grizzly Rage form. Um, of course, as I transform back, there we go. Of course, I had Mad Wolf's Glee on, so it looked like I was stuck in 
in the uh, <laughs> in the wolf form. Not really sure why that was, uh, but it definitely allows you to utilize the grizzly rage form almost like as an earth druid, so to speak. So either whether you're a werewolf main who's utilizing you know the werewolf skills, or whether you're an earth main who just wants to play around with the grizzly rage ultimate which is actually pretty good by the way the grizzly rage ultimate is actually pretty nice i was actually looking at this specifically for my um my werewolf because there's a passive that changes grizzly rage into a werewolf which could be interesting uh, i don't know i don't know if it's going to be that great but, um, but as you can see here grizzly rage earth skills and now i can utilize those earth skills while i'm in combat of course they have to be on the bar though which is the thing um, if they're not actually on the bar, they don't show up. Cause, you know, so you're going to need to put them on the bar. And the hell is that? What the hell did I click? No clue what that was. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on Vasily's Prayer. Um, it does have some flavor text, so let's go ahead and read that. Roots from the great oak growing at the seaward statue of Vasily will, on rare occasions, be found twisted back upon themselves, suffused with ferocious magic. Barrett's Book of Implements. Um, and I think it's important to take a look at the how, how it actually looks as well in the wardrobe, which is rather interesting. Um, so Vasily's prayer is actually like freaking Goku hair. I don't even know how to explain it other than that. It legit just looks like Goku hair. Like, you can, I think you can dye it um, different colors, um, and you can make it look like the mask can look different. But the hair itself seems to be stuck on the yellow color, which is rather interesting. I mean, legit, like, you, it turns your druid into Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, or no, no, Super Saiyan 1, probably, not Super Saiyan 2. It's got the short hair. It'd be like, it'd be like Gohan Super Saiyan, right? Like, because he's always got the short hair, not the really long hair like Goku. <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyway, as always, I've already spent too much time on this. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, keep watching.